Crusader here back on some more Neo. Now we're going to be doing something a little bit different as compared to our normal mission run. We're going to be doing a little co-op here. Mystery of the mission that we're going to be doing. At least the next main mission. Giving somebody a hand because this section... Oh! Well, I've helped this guy out before. This will be quick. That's not to say that I, I want to be lazy and trying to have higher level people carry me through. I just want to do something a little bit different. That's all. So, let me show you. Oh, I can't do it. Why can't I do it? No. Wait, where's our... Oh, there he is. It's like, where the heck's our buddy? Oh, I see what he's doing. Late to the party. But we are going to be taking care of this mess really quickly. Oh, I can't even activate that anymore. So I don't know whether or not it will uh, give us extra souls or not. Kinda hoping that's not the case. Cause doing a complete no shrine run of certain levels is not exactly the smartest idea in the world. And actually, if I remember correctly, this guy is actually pretty nice when it comes down to showing you where specific things are. It's actually really hard finding genuine people that nowadays. So, let me, uh, let me say this. You see where all this water's at? Don't fall in it. You'll just die. Oh, what the hell are you aiming at? Oh, whoa. Yeah, this guy's way upper level. Because 4.2k worth in damage. Man, that is insane. But, we're also going to be finding our little Kadama friends. Yikes. And on my other file, my main file, I was looking at it last night. Just getting my guy up one additional level, which took the better part of like half an hour. Um, at level 175, I'm doing roughly about that not, well, not even that much. I'm doing, like, at the most with a Carnage Talisman, uh, 1.9k, so I'm doing something wrong somewhere. I guess my build's different or something, I don't know. But, I'm thinking once we get a book of reincarnation, we'll, uh, I'll look into some really good spirit builds. I think I gotta get one going right now. But I could be wrong. So, as you guys just saw, that blob is legitimately the in-game boss for this level. Um, he is three times that size. So, we are going to be doing lighting these lanterns right here. They are believe yeah there's three of them if I remember correctly and it applies a fire to your weapons which allows you to smack the snot out of it and cause additional damage but luckily for us we have our little dog that's already fire based damage to begin with so we're in good shape for that take you down Oh, I gotta love those rad dog physics. There's our yokai friend that I was waiting for as well. I was looking at the hole for us, like, I know you're up there. Just fall. So I'm gonna open this up. 
And this guy's so dang high a level, I'm pretty sure he's just coming through the lower levels to help people out, but to also farm up for materials so that he can forge better weapons. Because if I didn't know any better, I'm pretty sure this guy's running at Divine level, which is the highest level of rarity within the game. It's kind of like this neon green color. And seeing your character being chocked full of neon like that is always amazing to look at. So we're getting a nice little restock on our arrows. Oof. Yeah, it's a divine weapon. So yeah, this guy is probably sending New Game Plus somewhere. Oh wow, um, that dude's probably doing a level one um, no gear run with just level one. I think it's called um, an Iron Man challenge. At least that's what it's called in WoW. If you go and hit max level with just um, the starting equipment that you get when you create a brand new character. Yeah, that's what it's called. Iron Man, and I've never in all my years of playing that game even though I've been away from it for the better part of six months no, it's almost a year now um, I've never once seen anybody on any of my servers that i played on do it and I only just heard about it recently so it's been around for a while but it's almost like our uh, like that guy that created a Pandaren and only did uh, one, two, I believe, 85 or 90. Because at the time it was just um, during Panda Land. And he just farmed um, a crap ton of. Uh, uh huh. Oh, here we go. So, this is what I was talking about earlier. So, close combat damage boost up by 25%. So, if you're helping someone out in co-op... Oh, and only go oh, man, it goes down fast, so it's a small buff. Wait, on you. Ugh. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Yeah, you know you're carrying my ass, and I don't really think you care. <laughs> Alright. So that's the main area. I really don't need the money, because we're already sitting at a little over 200,000. Like I was saying, if you, can, whoa, if you guys happen to have a weapon that has fire on it already, that's awesome. Just keep in mind that these guys are everywhere in this level. Nope, that wasn't it. Ah, courtesy wins the day. Gives you a nice little bounty of treasures. Ooh, plus a whetstone. Very nice. So this is another... Okay, it's just one of them. It's just one of the big axe wielders. That's not as bad. I thought it was a big wielder. I thought it was like one of the big tongued ones. Alright, gonna heal that out. I don't know if this guy wants to do all three, because there are three torches, or not. But we're going to find out here any minute. Yeah, it looks like he wants to do all three. It's fine by me, if he wants to do it that way. Ooh. That is ballsy. Never would have imagined it going. Snag that dude up. Okay. Alright. 
So I'm gonna continue our little ooh, adventure here. And that guy's got fire on his sword. And he just made mincemeat. How did that poor little slime? I feel a little bad for the slime. J just a little bit. They're a big pain in the dick, but yeah, you gotta feel kinda bad for them. Oh. Well, I hit him right as he was thinking, hey, I'm gonna actually, uh. No, I don't think that's a chest down there, so we're gonna skip that. Take out our little friend here. Make him fall. I don't know what the heck you're doing. He fell. <laughs> if you really want to go after your item, you can. It's just a nice little balancing act. Oh. You want to go up here. Alright. Well, hopefully I don't Ooh. fall. I don't come up here very often. Because I have a horrible time with gravity. You guys didn't notice. Oh, dang it. I was hoping to. Oh, maybe. Bring him over, bring him over. Oh. Okay, I whipped that really hard. I was hoping to be able to drag him over to, uh,. Get a plunging attack out of it. Now, what is up here? Grab our item here. Ah, oh, it's a new sword. Might be better than what we got. Maybe. Do that. Our friend here is not doing too shabby. Okay, so our friend waited. Thank you. Oh, I'm talking about a tight quartered spit. <laughs> and cannon. Alrighty then. Take him down. Ooh, summoner's candle. Didn't know you have one of those here. Alright, buddy. I'm following you. Ooh, there's a Kadama right underneath there. So let's go ahead and grab our little healing friend here. It's those ones that give us the extra elixir buff. section. Although, I, it makes me wonder if it scales down with the person they're trying to summon. That makes me wonder. So I'll be looking down, because I don't want to do gravity today. I did enough. Okay, so we're going to go across. There's another shrine right there. Ooh. Oh, you're an axe wielder. But you're already dead, so... We're gonna see what this gives us here. Something. I don't know. Ah, uh, 26%. So it looks like the actual, uh... What I said before about it 
increasing the amount of souls that you get off. Dude, I'm waiting on you. Jeez. Give me that look. Um, so, never mind what I said about it being just an increase or a flat increase to your um, to your souls amount because it looks like it's random because I don't think I've seen that one before. Whoa, that was way off. Another little balancing act here. This will help get us over to the boss section really without too much issue. Just wait for him to turn around. Come on. Ooh, nice shot. Don't waste your ammo. I had to get out of the way. Yeah. Because you come all the way around this corner. like this is really bad. Well, that's the first time that he w actually died. Alright, so he was wanting all three of these guys lit. It does make the fight a little bit easier. Oh! Well, I didn't know that was a trophy. Well, something to keep in mind, guys. If you didn't know, if you light all three of these flames, you get a trophy out of it. I'll be at a bronze, but I never knew. Because <laughs> I usually only lit two, because I could never figure out how to get to the um, one that's like straight across from the boss fight. That's interesting. Drop to safety here. Alright, I think we're going to go for the boss now. Go and put on like the music from Route One from the original Pokemon Red and Blue. <laughs> it's like, yeah, we're just running. Although I don't know about any of you guys, but I'm actually looking pretty forward to this coming um, video game season. We got a lot of games coming out that look phenomenal. Um, you got. Shadows died twice, which everyone thought that it was going to be Bloodborne 2. Um, you have uh, Neo 2 coming out, although they didn't give a uh, they didn't give a when it was going to be coming out, but they gave us a really interesting video for it. Um, you have Ghosts coming out. I'm in agreement with a lot of other you know, YouTubers on this. But one specifically, Fight Cowboy made it quite clear. I wasn't watching um, the coverage of E3, but uh, he was doing a lot of the coverage, and he had mentioned he didn't like the force perspective that they were giving the. Uh, the whole entire thing. It looked really scripted in some spots, which, yeah, I give you that. But, uh, if, if it is going to be forced perspective like that, eh, I don't know if I'll pick it up or not. I mean, granted, it, it is a... Ouch! It does look decent. I'll give them that. It looks really quite hard, but... It's a force perspective like that. I, I don't know what demographic they're going to be going after with that idea. I just don't know. Then everyone just about lost it when they were doing the uh, Resident Evil 2 
remake. Oh boy, that just looks freaking terrifying. It just looks scary as hell. Alright, so here's the boss fight. Oh! Well, we fail automatically. Or maybe not. Whoa, hey, hey, hey. Yeah, we fail. Ugh. Alright, guys. Well, I hate to have that happen. Really hoping I kept all my souls. If not, that's just really cheap. And I really wanted this guy to succeed, too, because he was just. He looks pretty good, considering. Nope, we don't get to keep a damn thing. Uh, they allow you to keep a small bit of it, I guess, but... Not what I was hoping for. Man, that blows. But there's got to be a consequence for whatever happens. Alright, so this is what I was talking about when it when I'm just boosted up my spirit. If you guys look down the list, it re has requirements for specific things. So this one, our dog, we have our first reduction for attack cue. <coughs> Excuse me, when we're critical. Um, at 9. Or no, that is for... Because the key speed, okay, the key speed recovery, that was the first one. The second one is at 9. Then I'll increase our close combat attack key reduction down by 20%, which will be really nice to have. And then skill damage, which requires 10, but each one they require something different. So, we're just going to continue because I believe I want to boost it up to a minimum of 15. I'll have to look at my other file because I have all the other spirits unlocked, but we'll take a look at that really fast in the uh, the next episode. Now, I believe I'm probably going to try to help a couple more people out, but we'll find out. If I do happen to get back to that boss, I'll record that fight for you. I'll put some commentary in there so it's not dull not just watching a boss kill but until then guys i hope you have a good one thanks for coming on by don't forget to like comment subscribe and you guys have a good one thanks for coming by hey what's going on guys we are back on some more jolly collaboration uh oh this person is legitimately just tearing this place apart so oh no laser beam They are a caster type. Oh dear. I think, oh yikes. Yeah, she got smashed. Uh oh, I'm dead. Revive me! Thank you! And when he jumps, just be out of the way. Thanks. But yeah, that eye laser beam it really does suck. Throw his little tentacles out. Then you can damage him that way. That's another way of doing it. Uh, okay, good. I was thinking that he was going to do his little. Nope, there he goes, yeah. This is Isaac. Oh, that was lucky. Oh, shit. No. Don't like to look at that. Alright, just gonna 
good job. We're gonna reapply. And uh, this person that I'm helping actually already has fire sitting on their weapon. So, there goes the laser beam. Why aren't you taking advantage of that? That's what everybody waits for is that laser beam. burning through your, your stuff here. That's There it goes. Oh my god. Oh! How? Alright, she keeps living. That's like some serious RNG. But we're going to be putting this at the end of the episode. Previous time. Are you gonna jump? Are you gonna like jump? There, thank you. I was wondering something. Are you gonna jump to the middle or what? Take out his little friends here. Oh, and as you guys can see, he hurts. Take out his little friends because they will cause a huge distraction. Buff back up. There we go. While our main companion here is primarily taking the boss down, it's gonna help. Yeah, he's pretty difficult to take down on your own, so don't feel bad for one second that you have to summon someone in. Nothing to be ashamed of that. Yeah, like all those purity purest players that will legitimately just go and just crap all over people that cannot... Oh, crap, crap, crap. I don't know how the heck I survived that, but I survived. Oh, you monkey. Ooh, and I'm at a... Get it? Maybe? Oh! Well, that was really lucky. Whew. Let's see if it. I don't think it failed us. I really don't think so. I hope not. find out here. No, it did not. Alright. Alright, guys. We're going to wrap it on that note. So, thanks for coming on. Bye.